what I wanted to show you. It's a 1974 Lotus Europa. Nice. I don't know how it runs, but it sure looks pristine. My husband passed away three months ago. Although this was my husband's passion, I personally think it's ugly, so I'm going to sell it. Lotus has been making some of the coolest cars on the planet for 60 years, and they've appeared in several James Bond flicks. And back in the 60s and 70s, they dominated Formula One racing. I mean, it's got a fiberglass body, a lightweight steel frame, mid-engine. I bet it's just super fast. So how much did you want for it? 20,000. I'm thinking more like 12. It's just a thin collector market. Yes, but it's very pretty. A little while ago, she, the car was ugly. Now it's pretty. <laughs> I know it's a beautiful car. It's in immaculate shape. The top dollar I'm going to get out of this thing is 15. Yeah, 13 what I can do. OK, I'll accept that. OK, thanks. OK. All right, let's go do some paperwork. So where's the flux capacitor go in this? This one doesn't have one on it, unfortunately. I guess we're stuck in that in there, This is supposed to be the future. <laughs> right. <laughs> this car was made famous by the Back to the Future movies. John DeLorean wanted it to be the new sports car, the car of the future. I mean, I wasn't even alive back in 1981, and I mean, this car still looks, you know, cool to today's standards. John DeLorean designed a whole lot of cars for GM and then went out on his own, and this was the first and only car he ever manufactured. Can we check out the engine real quick? Sure, no problem. DeLoreans use what's called a mid-engine, which is pretty much designed for weight distribution and also makes them handle really well. That's why you also see them in Ferraris and Lamborghinis. I mean, DeLorean really knew what he was doing. How much are you trying to get out of it, man? I'd go 30000 for it. No, there's no way in today's market it's going to go for that much. Houses are worth a third of what they used to be. Bigger cars are worth about the same. Right. I'll go up fifteen, and that's going to be the most I can do on it. That's going to be the final offer there. There's no way I could let this go for $15,000. I know the car's worth more money. Oh, man, this thing looks sick. It's a replica of the one that was in the movie with Michael Keaton. Batman is one of the few superheroes with no special powers. He just uses his wits and his gadgets. And his coolest gadget by far is the Batmobile. Now, the original Batmobile, that was a 57 Lincoln Futura, but this one, this was a total concept from scratch. To flip this over, you're going to find something that really just wants it for themselves. This is a catch-22 as far as I'm concerned. There's a ton of work to be done to it, but where are you going to find another one? Chum, can it's, it's not for me. Yeah, you can test drive it, sure. you got to love Chum. There's no way I'm going to make a deal on this thing, but who wouldn't want to see the Batmobile run? <sighs> to the Batcave. This is the best day of my life.